Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to share with you a new series that I'm starting. It's called Taking Stock. I'm going to inventory different categories of products and I'm going to share them with you. I'm going to tell you what I own, how much it costs, where you can purchase it, and what I think about it. Today's taking stock is going to be face highlighters. And I have just a small handful of products to share with you. The first one I'm going to start with is the ELF Shimmering Facial Whip in Lilac Petal. ELF used to be an exclusive brand to Target, but they are now expanding. This does retail for about a dollar. People have said that it is a dupe for Benefit Hybe, which is $26 retail. Some other people have said that this product is too pink or rosy. Benefit High Beam is more silver. I don't own Benefit High Beam, so I can't tell you about my opinions on that comparison. This is what this looks like. And if I blend this out, a little goes a long way. You can see that that little bit is really going to give me a huge swatch. In fact, I probably could have used about half of that. I must admit, I personally don't really use this product. Even though it is a product that I own, it is in my inventory, I don't use it. I must say I purchased it because it was only a dollar, and I'm sure I heard somewhere along the lines from some beauty YouTuber that it was a great product and a dupe for something or other. The only reason why I personally don't use it is because it is a liquid highlighter. And I have oily skin, so I do use a lot of powder. Once I put on my foundation, I pretty much always immediately powder, which means that I cannot go back on top of that with a liquid highlighter. I think maybe for the summertime, I am going to try to start using that product more often. I own it, why not? The second one is also a liquid form, and this is Hard Candy Glow All The Way in Doll Face Pink. This was part of a set. I probably purchased this around Christmas time. I know that it came with a small sample size of the Sheer Envy Primer and maybe another product or two. I can't quite remember. This retails for about $8. Um, in the full size, it can be purchased at Walmart, and it has been listed as a dupe for several different things. Again, I don't own the high-end items that it is compared to, so I personally cannot speak about whether or not it is a dupe for those items. So now I have these two actually side by side, and this is the Hard Candy Glow All The Way. Many people talk about, in addition to using this as a highlight, mixing it with moisturizer or foundation to give a subtle sheen or glow to the entire face. Again, I will admit that because this is a liquid formulation, I don't utilize this product, but something on my to-do list to try and make sure that I do. We're gonna go ahead and move on to my powder highlighting products. I have another one from the Hard Candy line, and this is one that so many people have. This is Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in 129 Tiki. And this is about $9, you get .46 ounces. It's a pretty good size. I have heard that it is a dupe for Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Again, I don't own that product, so I can't speak about it. But I will tell you that this is a really nice highlighter. And I will tell you, too, that I wore this highlighter on my wedding day. It was perfect. So it is a very yellow golden type of a highlighter. And it's just a very subtle formula that I really like and I really can get behind. The next powder highlighter that I have here is Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana 743A. This product here is about $4. I usually purchase my Wet n Wild cosmetics at Walmart, but they are readily available at several different drugstores. This product here is labeled as a bronzer, 
but anyone and everyone that you talk to will tell you that this is not a bronzer. And I have also heard, again, I cannot lay truth to this claim because I don't own this product, but I have heard that this is a dupe for the ambient lighting powder in dim light. And this is on this side over here. You can see those two in comparison. I really like that highlighter. That was one of the only highlighters that I owned for a while until I started purchasing some other highlighters and really amping up my face highlighter game. The next set of highlighters that I have are part of a kit. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is part of the NYX Turn the Other Cheek Palette. Inside of this palette, there are three different um, highlighters or illuminators, and you can see those here. Now, they don't give any names for these highlighters. Not sure if these illuminators or highlighters are available to purchase singly. I did do a quick browsing of the website to figure out if I could match up the illuminators that are sold individually to the ones in this palette. But without being able to see them side by side and do a swatch and a comparison, I can't really answer that question for you. This palette did cost $25. I purchased it a while ago, but I think that it is still available. The three illuminators in here, there is one that is a very yellowy gold, a peachy, uh, a pinky peach one, and kind of a peach one here. I use these somewhat, but the problem is that I don't always want to get out this big bulky palette in order to get to these highlighters. Sometimes. The last ones that I have to talk about are also part of a kit, and they are part of the Anastasia Contour Kit. This is in light to medium, and the three shades that I'm talking about as far as being kind of uh, highlight shades are the top row and the top three colors in here. We have sand, which is the shimmery highlight color, banana, which is a yellow, setting powder and this one over here which is vanilla which is sort of a matte highlight color now you can buy these individually this kit cost forty dollars but i get three sort of highlight shades and three contour shades if you were to purchase this one here which again is the only shimmery one in here it would be about fourteen dollars for a refill this was the one that i am going to swatch for you so that you can see what it looks like. And it is a very subtle color and highlight, but I really do like all of these highlights. I think that they're all very nice highlights, different colors, different formulations, and certainly different price points. Besides the Anastasia Sand, which isn't necessarily a highlighter, that's really the only high-end product that I have. So it's difficult for me to tell you that High Beam is the best highlighter out there and these are great dupes, they perform really well because I'm only working from within the drugstore category. But I hope you enjoyed this new series, Taking Stock. As I said earlier, I will definitely be happy to move systematically through my collection. Obviously we can do bronzers, we can do blush, we can do lip products, eye products, you know, eyebrow products, eyeliners, mascaras, face powders, primers. I mean, I can basically think of a ton of categories to do. But if you have a specific category that you want to see next, again, please leave that in the comments below. And if you like this series and you want me to continue doing more of them, please give this video a thumbs up. Lastly, the makeup look that I have on here was featured in my 10 minute challenge. So if you want to see if I was able to complete this full face of makeup in 10 minutes or just see the products and colors that I use to achieve this look, please go ahead and check that video out. Bye! Thanks for watching!